Hi. Sorry, sir. I've got 51 minutes and 40 seconds, so I want to. Show you a little bit of um, how to use a mortar and a pestle because um, my mom had one and she bought that. Actually, my dad bought it for her and she taught us how to use it. So, she'll like to um, show you. So this is the more of it, and this is the pestle, and these are both stones. <clears throat> so I'll show you the inside. This is it. I'm gonna move, so I'm gonna move the table. And then um, these are the spices. This is um, peppercorn, and this is nutmeg. So, um, yeah. Some things are better shown and talked about. Um, one thing you got to know about cooking is that when you put one thing down and use it that is always going to influence it's going to get into the next spice um, so you put that in there crush it up there's going to be peppercorn on the nutmeg so in order to um, get more of a pure spice of the second one it has this um it has to be washed um i think i'm gonna end up washing the pestle um because she has fallen asleep several times and i'm just gonna have her stay there a little bit. She ate um, just a couple minutes ago. And this is the seal. Uh, this is difficult. Hold on. Is that like a grip on the bottom? There. Here we go. It might help to have a bowl of water. I want to drink that, so I don't want to use that. But a bowl of water to wash off the spices in between. If something happens, I can use that. Peppercorns. And I like to smell them. And um, my fiance said to waft it up. Because it kind of makes the um, scent go up more and you kind of bring it up. <laughs> okay. So, starting with a little bit is the best idea. Hey, baby girl. What's going on in there? We were uh, doing tummy time earlier and she <laughs> was watching me dance. It was embarrassing. <laughs> um, 
but I mean, I like I like to dance. And then you take it and just crush it. So we just um, crushed the seeds. I think they're the seeds. But um, inside, like. Take a look at this. Okay. Hmm. It looks like a shell. I don't do this very much. Pretty sure we eat the outside, but um, let's look for any seeds. Okay, have to get more of it. Oh, goodness. So, like, I know she's shoving her hand in her mouth like that, but if, if I give attention to things all the time, she's going to be like, oh, this is how I get mom's attention. So I'm just going to give her attention other times. Looks like this is all there is of it. That's round. That may be a non crushed seed, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. From what I remember, we just um, eat the whole thing. And if it works out, otherwise, I will let you know, because, uh, honestly, right now I'm eating straight cocoa powder, and I want to eat dirt, and I've been eating those radishes like cray-cray, because -cray, it tastes like dirt, especially the roots, I like especially the roots. another way to crush it. Just um, apply pressure. Just a constant interval, um, crushing the movement, the constant movement gets it done at a pace and I'm not trying to control it the whole time and it's a constant pace. So it kind of is relaxing to just um, remember like a song or a, a rhythm and just do that. Um, you can figure out where it came from. I'm not going to say that. That's rude. Okay. But, yeah. Mm, got to get this stuff on the side. Oh, my. I'm, like, filing my nails. But I don't want nail stuff on there, so I'm trying to do that. Okay, okay. and if you don't have a bowl, you can just set it in a little pile on the table. And I like to tip it from the side that it's most at. It naturally will um, want to go in that direction. So that is Peppercorn. Crushed peppercorn. Okay. I'm going to turn over. And 
I've cleaned the bottom underneath and stuff. And yeah, you know, I, I can, I can get more water. We have this here. Um, okay. Hmm. There we go. I can't wash the nutmeg in this bowl now. Because this already has pepper water in it. You could probably drink that. And that, that can be nutritious. Okay. And you know water evaporates. So um, you don't necessarily need a towel. But. Um, you know. Get a towel. Don't. Don't make people go without a towel. You know. And sometimes putting something in the sunlight helps dry it. Hi. This is the pesto. Yeah, yeah, you want to lick it, don't you? I don't know if you should have peppercorns. Yeah. We gotta go to Dog Park, don't we? He's been going to the dog park and he loves it. Cause he he's like literally a thoroughbred. Um the way his feet he he um walks on the ground and stuff and it's awesome. This is kind of like a, a midpoint dry. Um, this one, a lot of fingerprints show up. Honestly, a towel also kind of helps get more of the uh, stuff actually off. Because the truth is, the water washes things off. And then um, it gets in the water. And then the stuff is so small that it just gets back on. So, does that have... No, it doesn't. Okay. There we go. Nutmeg. Here it is. Oh goodness, I was not watching. What are you talking about? Okay, what is this? I'm honestly looking at this through my um, tape, and it's a. Things are just different through here. Okay. These appear to be. Uh, my fiance said they're nuts. They look like nuts for seed pods. That's where the, um, this was attached to a uh, stem, which was attached to the plant. It's the, like, gradient on the outside, the fingerprint, the veins. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. And this little guy, I'm gonna 
going to take a remnant from our main source and uh, he is going to go first. But, um, yeah, this has a lot of grooves. I've heard um, somebody talking about how you crack it better with um, knowing how the grooves are. I don't remember what he said, but I can probably work with that information. It's probably like if if there's yeah okay. One, two. See, this would be a weaker point because the grooves are closer together. Generally speaking. Um, sometimes a larger surface, like at the midpoint, will also crack uh, more easily than uh, like two cuts closer together or indents. <laughs> Why is it? It must be like wet. Mm, moist. Okay. Okay, shoulder. Oh, there we go. Mm. Hey, baby girl. Hey, what's up? You want to see what I'm doing? Yeah. You should be in here. Hold on. Uh, I'm just destroying things. <sighs> hey! What? Hi. Hey. What's up? You don't want to be by yourself. Yeah. Here, I'm going to bring you in here so we can learn about question things. You can't hear it very well in here. It's way too far. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye, cruel bedroom. And into the living room we go. Any room is cruel to me, so just... I just take that for every, every room. There we go. <gasps> We're in the living room. Should I open the window so the radishes have some air? Yeah. They they do better when when the window's open, honestly. Cause I mean they're cold weather plants. <laughs> Okay, all the petals are falling off. Honestly, I think they might be to the point where they're dying. After that, the bulbs may start growing. And then I uh, think the flowers have seeds, but I, I'm trying to see whether or not um, I'm trying to see whether or not flowers will make seeds without being pollinated because there are absolutely no bugs in here. If there are, I mean, there might be bugs, but they'd be like really very small and they, they would have to be small enough to crawl through the gradient, the mesh window. Anyway. Are you chewing your fingers? There we go. Okay. You know, I should probably stop crushing it at this point because sometimes one part's poison and one part's not. 
So if it's a nut, the inside is the nut part. Oh my goodness, let's smell it. That is like a pure essential oil smell. Kind of alcoholic. Like a type of dirt. Kind of dirt. I really haven't explored outside very much at all. So to do that, I have to bring outside inside. Mm. We'll see, it's got like a sharp pain. So it's probably an iron of some kind. Mm. It like goes up here and then it dwells on the like the first no, it's not the first layer I think. It's definitely specifically the little tiny nerves. Cause there's part of it that's just like dull. Okay. I'm just going to crush the whole thing up right now and not eat it because I'm just experimenting, finding out what the heck this is. Maybe I could put it in some water. That's not the water I should use. I should use straight tap water, which has other things in it, but it's what I have. We're going to pretend it's pure water. I try to go for the big pieces because they crumble the most and they make it so that the little pieces don't get crushed because they're taller. Ugh. Stay. This is something I want to do when I'm sad. Because it's like very cool. Okay, it's actually kind of buttery, so it's probably got a fat in it. I say it's buttery because it kind of retards the um, movement. Let's 
usually to more of the water. Okay. Lights or no? Uh, just, uh, just there. Uh, Peppercorn nutmeg. I don't think I got a good look at this one, actually. Okay. Uh. So, uh, yeah, here's the peppercorn. I wanted to keep it uh, pure so I'm gonna use the other hand. But, um, if you want to do it otherwise, you can get, uh, like a stick or, uh, just, uh, tip it out onto a different surface. The ground is usually there. I like the ground. Uh, oh, there we go. I dropped it. Where did it go? Okay. See, this is why I have to be a police officer sometimes. Oops. Where would it have dropped? Gosh. I will find it. Twenty-seven fifty-one out of fifty-one fourteen. I was just going to do fifty-one or twenty-seven out of fifty-one, and then add a hole after that. It's uh, oh, twenty-seven. Oh, down one. That makes the other six, and the first one even. 50 and take um, 6 away from 50 that leaves a 4 so 44 44 minus 20 so that would be 24 but we have added one minute, almost two minutes. Okay. I should probably save the, the one hand stuff for um, somebody else I've met who, um, he has one hand and he is able to use his one hand like uh, nobody else I've ever seen. I'm not joking. All right. By the way, I said in a past video, I didn't have anyone to talk to in high school. Um, so what I define high school as is um, from the time I was about, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
13 to the time I was 18. I'm going to say 18. Because uh, in, in America, it's usually when you turn 18, that's when you're out of school. It's also when the entire world tries to um, validate that you know anything you just learned in school. It's very frustrating. I'm telling you this because it's, it's freaky. But, um, so when I was, um, after 16, 17, I got my first job and my coworkers, I know the entire world tells me I should say they're friends and not say I should get involved in coworkers and like, uh, basically treat my co-workers terribly yet. I'm sorry I don't want to do that to them I don't have a good work environment because I go to work I establish how things happen whether I like it or not because <laughs> uh, I can't work if I don't establish something and I just know that everything I do will influence what they're about to do such as if I cut up onions for the next day, um, then my coworker doesn't have to cut up onions for the next day. But if I don't do that, they have to do that. Stuff like that. It's like, obviously my actions influence what they do. <sighs> so I rather assume the mindset that they are my friend rather than uh, just not caring about how things happen because I really care <laughs> yeah anyway you guys take care God bless <laughs>